Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into the crucial topic for software developers and IT professionals. How to sign an MSI file with a code signing certificate. Signing your MSI ensures that your software is trusted, secure and reduces those annoying UAC prompts that scare users away. Firstly, why do we need to sign an MSI? Well, signing your MSI file does two major things. First, it authenticates the source of the software, letting users know it's from a trusted developer. And the second is that it protects the integrity of your files, ensuring that the content hasn't been tampered with. Code signing is also critical for reducing those pesky user account control prompts and building trust with your users. Without a digital signature, your software could raise flags preventing users from installing it. Before you can sign your MSI file, you'll need a code signing certificate, which you can obtain from a trusted certificate authority. You'll also need to install the Windows Software Development Toolkit, which includes the tool we'll use, the signtool.exe. So firstly, once you have downloaded the Windows SDK setup from the Microsoft Store, we can click Next, Next, Accept. And here, to reduce the size of your installation, you will only need this Windows SDK signing tools for desktop apps. The rest you can uncheck and then click Install. Once everything has been installed, navigate to C Program Files, x86, Windows Kits, then bin and in this folder you will have all your windows sdk versions installed now i'm looking at the latest one which i installed and it's 26 100 next go inside it x64 and here you have the sign tool now that we located the sign tool we need to get into the actual signing process first let's open up a command prompt with uh, administrator rights and change the directory to the one where the SDK is located, actually where the sign tool is located, right? So change directory here. Next, we use the sign tool.exe to sign our MSI. And how do we do that? We use sign tool.exe, sign. Let's give it the certificate that we have. By the way, we have a separate video on how to create a test VFX certificate for your infrastructure. Good. Next, the password, which in this case is one, two, three, four. Okay, uh, the uh, what, how are we going to sign it by using SHA256? Good, I don't have a timestamp URL, so I'm going to leave that aside. And then our path to our installer. And let's check this here. And this is without any digital signatures. Okay, good. So I'm going to hit cancel. Copy paste, copy as path, click enter, and there you go. We have successfully signed our MSI file. And if we have a look on our properties, we now have the digital signatures. And of course, I don't have a timestamp available. Ignore this problem here because this is a uh, self-signed certificate that I did here. Now, if you are using Advanced Installer, signing your MSI becomes even easier. Advanced Installer has built-in support for signing MSI packages with just a few clicks. So let's hear how this works. In Advanced Installer, go to the Digital Signatures page, and here you have multiple options, but for the purposes of this video, we have two ones. We can use the certificate from the store, and here I already have my test certificate right and i can just click build and it will automatically sign the package or i can use a file from disk and in this case i'm going to use this pfx it's going to ask me for my password it's one two three four click ok click save click build and now all of your builds inside the project because i have an msi and an exe will both be digitally signed with the selected certificate and that's it whether you're using Sign Tool or Advanced Installer, signing your MSI files is crucial for ensuring their security and trustworthiness. Not only does it protect you from your software tampering, but it also gives your users peace of mind when they install it. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos.